In this video, I completely reverse famous logos by making the opposite versions of them. And by the end, we'll choose one of the designs to make a real life version of it, starting with the Starbucks logo. And my idea for our opposite version of this is gonna be like a mermaid man instead of woman. All right, so getting right into designing it with the Starbucks logo right here on the left, we're just gonna create a copy of it and put it onto the right side. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do to actually reverse this, go from female to male, I think we'll just start with the hair. So I'm literally just gonna start with the same green color and just go in like this. Now that we got that done, I feel like we need to change the body. So like I could basically widen it like this but yeah now that's definitely not gonna work we're gonna have to change it completely i'm gonna just literally get something off of google i think like a cartoon version would be way better too and then i'll just put it into photoshop and just cut out what we need and make it white too so it actually blends in All right now i want to change the fins in the background and even before i do that this arm is kind of getting in the way but if i just cut it off so there's only this left side and it will duplicate it and then just flip it over as well and then i can even turn down the opacity and just see what's like hanging off what i need to delete down here All right, and there's a little bit of part that's kind of sticking out down here that looks a little bit weird so now like i said after that we wanted to do the fins so we'll actually change that and i think i'm actually gonna use the same green and just go over these ones and then now we got the space for the fins to add so we'll just put our own i'm gonna search up like a siren tail i think any one of these will work especially with the colors it doesn't really matter i just quickly cut out the background right there now we just have this by itself all right now that looks pretty good right there on the left side but i think we definitely should put another one on the right so i'm just gonna flip this right here and put it over there all right now the tails look a little bit kind of weird i feel like they could look a little bit better so i'm gonna change them real quick all right there we go we changed it i think it looks a lot better now yeah so i'm not gonna lie i feel like adding a beard and i'm still gonna change it to white and if not a white or like a gray color or something so it at least pops out a little bit more as you can see if it was on the store this is what it would look like but i still think we can make it look even better but this time i'm gonna make the one on the right just a simple solid color like that we need some water to put as a background all right, i think this one's perfect right here i like how the light's coming down from the middle and then i'll just create a clipping mask so it goes straight into it like that and obviously as you can tell with the real water let's do a realistic version all right so let's see if we can just get ai to give us a picture to use so this is the image ai gave us right here i'm gonna try and use this tool right here yeah that's definitely not gonna work so we're literally just gonna have to go in with the magic wand tool and just cut out the background all right now that we cut it out just actually smooth out some of the edges and now i think we need to keep that same green color so we'll probably just put like the eyes and the hair color green so literally i'm just gonna erase everything except for the hair and then i can just change the color to green but yeah the next thing is definitely the eye color we'll change that to green too now i think the next thing we definitely need is the crown and the fins as well all right now obviously it's not gonna look like it's on his head unless i erase it a little bit basically wherever these edges are right here is where i'm gonna erase and then we just turn up the opacity and then it should look good right there all right and now i feel like we need that gold star to put on top of the crown as well i think this one's way too simple i think this one's probably better and then this one looks a little bit more yellow not as gold so i'll just change the color a little bit all right and then it's still poking up at the top too so we'll just put a clipping mask so it goes inside i think the green and the gold definitely go together but i feel like the gray at the bottom doesn't so i think we'll just change that to gold as well to match the crown or even just put in like a slight green color like this i think actually matches and looks way better than that gray all right now i think the last thing we need is those two tails in the background and obviously we won't go for the cartoon one we'll go for a more realistic one like this i think that green definitely matches like that for sure and then we'll just copy and paste another one all right now that's the final starbucks logo the realistic version right there and that's what it would look like on the front of the store as well now let's move on to the next logo the burger king logo and i think the obvious thing we should reverse it to is burger queen and the first thing i'm gonna do is colorize it so it changes all to one color and do like a pink or a purple type of color like this either way that's just something to start with now i'm gonna take the eraser and actually delete the part that says king and we'll just take some text and basically just write it out ourselves okay, so for right now i'm gonna try this font right here and i'm gonna line it up to make it the same size like that and i think we just need to make it look a little bit thicker and like kind of round off the hard edges so i'm gonna just add some stroke to it so it gets thicker and then we'll obviously change the stroke to the same purple color too and that already makes it a little bit rounded off on the edges as you can see now it's still a little bit dry there's basically not much to it all right let's see if we can get like a tr a png without like a background or anything on it and then maybe we can just set that on top of the logo all right now let's see how that looks on top of this logo right here all right now let's try and warp it to actually fit this right here at the bottom all right, yeah that was how it looked before and then we warped it and basically made it fit like that and now i know for the first one i did do a lot more editing but i feel like since this logo is so simple already we may as well just leave it like this all right but for burger queen i wanted to do a storefront design real quick since we did that for the starbucks one and then i tried cutting out the background the easy way but obviously that didn't work so i just had to go in and do it manually definitely took more time but at least we're still able to change the color so we got that done and we obviously needed to change the logo too the logo would have looked weird unless i made the outline just like the other one so i had to add that 
And then from there, we just put the new logo over the old one. And I tried to make it like look exactly the same, like be the same exact size and have that perspective on it. So it's going a little bit sideways too. That's the best we could have it turn out right there. But now let's move on to the next logo. All right, now the next one we're gonna reverse is Dr. Pepper right here. The idea to reverse it came from this comment right here, which is basically gonna be Nurse Salt. And instead of red, we'll just start with a, like a light blue color. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna get like a salt shaker thing right here. I'm gonna just go with this one right here. It looks simple enough for sure. And I'll just place that into the design for right now. And I wanna see if there's like a salt background maybe. Yeah, maybe something like this in the background. Just as like some extra details and then we'll clipping mask it as well so it just goes into the can. And then to get the light blue color back, I can either turn down the opacity like this or I can just change this color itself to like a light blue color as well. All right, and I think we'll just leave it like that and then we'll try and delete some of it just so we only have some of it. I don't want the whole thing in the background. So I think the actual can itself will change that from a light blue to like a more darker one so that the middle part actually pops out more. And then really for no reason, I'm gonna just add some lightning right here. I kind of feel like it would just look good. And now we got those two pieces of lightning. I can just kind of turn down the opacity if I want to as well. All right, and then I'm gonna slightly change the blue on the background color too, like that. And for this one, I actually don't specifically care about making the text look the same as those. All right, I think this is a good font to start with right here. We'll obviously change the color too. And we'll put some established text as well too. We'll put like a bold version. And we'll put this here as well since we're just making this. Now let's see if we can get like a cartoon nurse basically. I think maybe we'll use this one and then we can actually change a little bit and put the salt inside in the hand. So I'm gonna literally just take this image and cut out the background and then I'll actually zoom in, get really close right here so I can delete some of these weird parts that I don't want. And I'm gonna take this salt right here and put it in her hand instead. First we're definitely gonna need to erase all of this. I did the best I could to basically erase all that and then we had to fix that little part right there on the hand. Now we can put the salt back in there too and then we just gotta go in and erase the parts that we don't want. Alright now we erased everything Thing, and we can just turn up the opacity again this this one has 23 flavors i was just gonna put one and put salt but i'm actually just gonna search up how many different salts there is all right so apparently there's 12 different types so we'll just put that all right so we put the 12 and then we'll also put some other text like authentic blend all right now we've got that last piece of text on the left right there we'll put like a little bit of a slant to it right there too take out the dark pepper on the left so we can just see this right here and right now, like I said in the intro, we're going to choose one of the designs to make a real life version of it. And I feel like the can design that we just did is the most practical one to do. And I've never done this, so we're just trying this out for the first time. Since we designed it onto the can directly, we need like a flat version to print out and then put onto a real can. And I think I basically bought everything that we need to actually be able to do this. But like I said, this is the first attempt at this. All right, now I went to print the design and it actually filled up the full paper, which was too big. So I had to go change the size in Photoshop and reprint it. And I made sure I specifically was able to have like glossy paper so it looked all shiny and make the design look better too but that for some reason didn't even print out on the first one so i made sure i fixed that and i recently got this to do it with the bag of chips designs which i'm still going to do in videos in the future right now for this part it was unexpected but if you see the top i clearly should have just cut off some more at the top to make it fit the can better but for some reason i thought adding some tape so it would still go at the angle at the top yeah this is how it turned out right here but i didn't want to just leave it off on that so i decided to just basically reprint out the design again and we're going to see if we can make it look better and right, now here's officially the finished product and also with the top part again i did cut it, but it still didn't line up with the top of the can as good and if i tried to push the tops towards it for some reason the paint was coming off of it and i really bought this whole setup to do real life designs of bags of chips and then i randomly thought of this idea that i could do it with the can so for next video we'll have the bags of chips designs for sure definitely stay tuned i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to watch the next video on screen it's right there